All right, ask any entrepreneur out there. Running a business has always been a challenge. But KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt found modern entrepreneurs are having to adapt to a whole new slew of challenges. Matt? Yeah, Mike Dini, with all the doom and gloom in the news, you might expect to see your favorite mom and pop stores closing left and right. But in reality, many are thriving better than ever. So we decided to take a look at how that is. You ask KSL Investigates. It is simply not enough to have a good product and a little seed money anymore. There are supply chain issues, worker shortages, inflation, not to mention the perpetual curveballs that come from the ongoing pandemic. Who would want to be running a business these days? Well, actually, lots of people, says Catherine Petrelia. Generally, we're seeing a lot of confidence and enthusiasm. Petralia is the co-founder of Cabbage, a company which helps other companies, small companies, navigate their business operations. And she says small business bosses are telling her that they finally feel like they're actually getting a handle on things. A number of businesses are now actually, you know, feeling like they're running a better business than they were pre-pandemic. Yeah, to clear all of the hurdles, Petralia says companies have changed the way their businesses run innovating and leaning into technologies that have also come a long way in the last two years. A lot of them have become sort of influencers and experts in social media to be able to um, drive new customers to their business and others um, are using digital banking and other ways to uh, create more efficiency in their in their back office and their financial side of the house um, and then still others and figured out how to um, deliver their products to customers in a way that they weren't doing so before. Small businesses account for about two-thirds of new jobs in this country. Based on her business dealings, that number, Petralia says, is growing. People are leaving their corporate jobs in many cases and going off on their own um, to sort of find their own way and do their own thing, and these are all really small businesses. I asked Petrelia if there's one thing she could point to over her years of experience that could may maybe be the difference between a company succeeding and a company failing. She says organization, really getting those finances in line. If you got something you want the KSL investigators to look into, let us know about it. The number, 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt at ksl.com.